What is going on, guys? My name is Georgian. Welcome to the second and final season with Tottenham Hotspur here in FIFA 13. The last season was actually pretty good, and I just want to say thank you guys for all the people that have watched all the episodes and that supported the season. Thank you, really, you know, from the bottom of my heart. Uh, really, it was a really good season. Uh, we didn't win anything, but um, I think that it was just pretty good overall. And uh, now we're, get, we're going into the second season, like I said, of the final season, because we're getting ready for FIFA 14. I think that everybody that plays FIFA is getting ready for FIFA 14 and are a bit tired of FIFA 13. I am a little bit tired, I'm not going to lie. And, uh, or just, you know, yeah, just a bit tired from, uh, from playing the same thing here in FIFA 13. But let's go into the second season and hopefully we win some, some trophies. And uh, we're going to play in the Champions League this year and uh, we're gonna go for everything we're just gonna go for everything and we're just gonna try to get really good players so in this episode there will be no games because all i'm gonna be doing is trying to see if uh or just looking up a players uh what players i should sign but it's uh it's not gonna be me who's gonna decide of course it's gonna be you guys and i want you guys to, to comment down uh what players i should uh buy uh the players that i'm gonna sell i'm gonna do it myself and um uh, you're gonna be a little maybe you're gonna be a little bit surprised at the players that i put up the first one as you saw uh like well tw 20 seconds ago or something it was holby so holby is going to be uh on the transfer list and uh the reason why is because he is a good player but he's not incredible and he is really young and he is uh worth a lot of money so i put him up in the transfer list uh for uh you know for someone to buy him and then it's going to be jermaine defoe yes jermaine defoe he is getting old, 32 years old. He was really good last uh, season. He had a lot of assists, uh, quite a few goals. Uh, but, you know, I want someone incredible up top, someone who is a beast. And uh, that's where I'm going to be. That's where I'm going to need your help to pick an out against striker. So hopefully you guys can comment down and tell me uh, what player I should buy. And, well, this is the players that I want. I just want one striker and two center attacking mids and that's it you know um, my center mid uh, it's already covered by Dembele and I also got Michael or Mikel in there um, you know because I'm gonna be I'm probably gonna be doing that 4-5-1 formation again um, I guess I should I should have never um, switched to the 4-2-3-1 because the 4-5-1 formation was working out really well uh, but then I changed and uh, everything just seemed to not be the same so I'm gonna be going back on uh, on that formation and I'm gonna be having uh, Robin as the right mid player and hopefully he, he can per perform as well as he did in the center attacking mid position before injuring himself uh, as we know nine months out which was crazy but now he's back so now I'm looking at a striker and there's a lot of players you know there's Javier Hernandez who's 85 overall uh, you know he's gone up from like 82 and uh, he seems like a pretty good player I've used them before in career mode obviously when i've used manchester united but i've also used them when i bought uh well um i mean when i was playing with barcelona in one career mode i actually bought him and he was a beast like he was scoring everything his speed was amazing his attacking position was amazing i mean i don't know he's a really good player i am thinking of buying him and uh, hopefully you guys can help me uh out uh deciding who i should get like um like i said i want a, a really good striker a big name striker uh, then we're gonna look at center attacking mids. The first one that I was uh, looking at uh, was going to be Marco Royce he, because he is amazing. He's, he's just an amazing player, really young. Um, you know, his natural position is a left mid, but he can also play in that center attacking role. Uh, 24 years old, 86 rated. This guy is a beast, and uh, he's he costs 27 million right now, so his price is really. Um, crazy mario gotze right there his price is 51 so that's out of the picture that's only his value though you know the clubs obviously always want more so for marco royce i'll probably I'll, I'll probably be if i want if i want to get him i'll probably have to put on the table 40 million or at least 35 million or something like that uh less than that i probably won't get him so yeah i'm looking at two center attacking meds and a striker again i just want to say it and ho hopefully you guys can help me out with that and uh, that's it. You know, the center mid position is already covered by Dembele. 
uh then our our defense our defense is already covered you know by you know everybody's already got there you know a left back alaba then we got walker who's uh, also gone up in, in stats i think and our, our center our center backs are really good there um Kabul and uh, uh Bertongen so and our goalkeeper obviously Hugo yours is a beast and he is not gonna go anywhere uh but yeah I'm I just, I'm just keep looking at uh some of the uh players there and uh just trying to see who uh who I should get hopefully you guys you know agree with uh buying Marco Royce because I really want to get him um hopefully you guys agree with that too so these are the players right here that I'm I'm sell I'm gonna sell uh, we got a David Villa there who I was actually thinking of selling him and I was just, uh, you know, I, I just didn't know if I should or not because he is getting old. He only played one season, but he was injured uh, for a lot of the time, too. And, you know, he didn't actually perform the way I thought he was going to do, uh, but I should have known because, you know, he's getting older. So he wasn't going to be exactly, you know, a beast, I guess, if it was like, I don't know, three or four years younger than Yes, he would have been amazing. He would have had at least a more pace. He did feel really slow, and that kind of hurt him. Um, and his shot, I thought it was going to be even better in games, but he w it wasn't that good. But So we're going to get a few messages here from the board, and they want us to go to the semifinal in the Champions League and the uh, Domestic Cup. They want us to reach the final. I don't know if it's the FA Cup or the League Cup. I think it might be the FA Cup. Um but yeah, they want us to go all the way to the semifinals in the Champions League. And uh, uh, I forgot to mention that, that we are going to play the Champions League this season. And uh, hopefully we can win that. But the Europa League wasn't that good last season. So I don't know if we're going to be able to uh, to buy, um, I mean, to uh, <laughs> to win that. But this season, I want to go all out. I mean, I want to like just win, try to win as much trophies as I can. Because last season, we, we, did, not, we did not win anything. So now I want to uh, at least win something, but I'm going to try my best to win everything. Uh, we've got a transfer offer for uh, Jermaine Defoe, 9 million. Galatasaray put on the table, but I'm going to do a counter offer for uh, for 11 million. Hopefully they went. I was hopeful, hopeful that they went for that because this, this is how it goes in FIFA 13. You uh, try to you bid for a player. The club wants a hell of a lot more money for, for the player. and uh, But then when they send you an offer and you do a counter they don't want to pay that money so it's kind of stupid that they do that in fifa 13 but uh but uh they do accept accept the offer except accept right <laughs> getting mixed messed up with the words but um yeah they go for they go for it and uh we are going to sell the foe hopefully he did i was hopeful that he did sell because sometimes you know you, the negotiations break down uh then we're gonna get some transfer offers the first one is going to be for Mi or ac milan for aaron lennon but we are all we are going to uh, reject that offer then we're also going to get another transfer offer for uh gomez our 32 year old goalkeeper who i think was on loan and came back but i need him in the squad because freddo the american goalkeeper has retired so he's no longer with the club and i need someone really good as a backup for ugo yours uh so we sell jermaine defoe for 11 million then we're gonna get a big transfer offer for ugo yours from juventus 32 million 500 is what they were offering me which is crazy for a goalkeeper but of course I i'm not gonna sell my you know probably the best goalkeeper in the in the world um or maybe i'm just uh that's a bit over the top <laughs> but he he is for sure the best goalkeeper in the barclays premier league uh that, that is going to be the uh end of this episode guys if you enjoyed it make sure to give this uh first video from the first on second season a like and i will see you on the next episode comment down who i should buy two center attacking mitts and a striker and i'll see you on the next one guys later